According to the Kaiser Family Foundation, around 60% of Connecticut adults were either overweight or obese in 2010. There are countless health risks to the extra pounds, including a higher risk for heart disease, diabetes, and stroke. But now many health insurance companies will pick up the cost of bariatric surgery to help people lose weight. And joining this morning are Dr. Nissen Namias, a bariatric surgeon at St. Francis, along with Luis Ortiz, who is a patient. Good morning. Thank you both for being with us. Now, well, let's talk about what is the difference between being obese and overweight, because there's a technical definition. Yeah, definitely. According to the uh, uh, National Institutes of Health, a body mass index of 35 with medical comorbidities or a body mass index of 40 are qualifications for surgery, but uh, being overweight is uh, 25 or, or above. Mm -hmm. So who would be a good candidate for bariatric surgery? Well, people that have medical problems related to obesity. And if you look at the image where if you have one of those body types that are considered morbidly obese or obese, the, one, the two uh, on the right, those would be quali uh, qualifying factors just by themselves. Um, medical problems like high blood pressure, diabetes, stress on the joints, all those things are also uh, qualifying factors for this type of intervention. So it is definitely not something for someone who just wants to lose 20, 25 pounds. This is not pounds. for a beauty pageant. No, right. no, no. This is for health. Now, there are different types of bariatric surgery. Correct. You walk us through those. Well, there are uh, mainly in America three types types of bariatric surgery done. The uh, most uh, common one is uh, gastric bypass. The second one is gastric banding. And there's an animation there. Uh, most of them are done laparoscopically with instruments that go into the body through small holes. Uh, this animation is showing a, a gastric bypass in which a small uh, pouch of the stomach is created in the upper side. Nothing is removed. Uh, the intestine is also divided down below and connections are made in a way that when people eat, they eat less food, they're satisfied with less food, and they absorb also less of that amount. Mm -hmm. So uh, the uh, average weight loss is over 100 pounds. It's a long lasting and it's very studied. This, this surgery has been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. Uh, and as you said, it's laparoscopic, yeah. so it, there are very small incisions, incisions that are made. Yeah, the, the band is the next uh, operation. In, the, in this operation, you uh, insert a uh, plastic device and that uh, uh, you inject fluid through it. Mm -hmm. It's removable mm -hmm. so that if somebody doesn't like the way they feel with it, you can always remove it later. Okay. And uh, Luz had the sleeve gastrectomy, which is the third operation. It's a, a removal of 80% of the stomach through, uh, in her case, a single incision, which was her belly button. Mm -hmm. uh, recuperation is quicker. It's a very, very good operation, and it's the newcomer in the in the block. Okay, good. Uh, Louis, tell me about your decision to have the surgery done. I would say my daughter was my motivation, being a single parent, and if I'm not around, who else is going to be around? So, how old is she? She's four years old. Oh. Yeah, and. Thanks to the surgery, we're both eating well now, so everything's going great. So you're happy with your decision? Yes. And tell me about your results and your progress and, and what life is like now. Oh, it's everything so much easier, shopping and um, before the surgery I was um, diabetic, borderline diabetic and um, my sugar levels went back to normal now mm -hmm. since I lost, I lost 80 pounds in four months. Mm -hmm. Wow. wow. So, you brought some jeans with you. Yeah. I have to ask. This is, these are the jeans that you wore before the surgery? Yeah. These were my old jeans. And what size are they? They were 22. Well, it looks like you could fit into just one of those legs now. Yeah. I dropped down to 15 now. Uh-huh. So, yeah, definitely happy I decided to go with this. And what does your four-year-old daughter say about it? Uh, she she goes, Mommy, your clothes fit now. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But as you said, it's not just about weight loss. It's about a change of life. Too. Yes. Eating habits. Eating habits, yeah. Great. Thank you both so much for being with it's us. It's a pleasure. Thank you.